Hi, Zachary Vex of ZVex FX. I'm here to introduce the uh, TB2, which is our second version of our T-Ball microphone, with quite a few modifications and improvements. The idea behind it is that when you're not right, right next to the mic, no sound can be picked up. But when you're actually on the mic, eat, like eating the mic, suddenly you'll, you're able to you know, hear through the mic, but as you back off, you just completely disappear and you're not on the mic anymore. So <clears throat> here's a demonstration of uh, with the lav turned off. You, know, you won't be able to hear me coming through this mic. You'll just hear me coming through that. And uh, you can hear as I get closer and closer to it, you can finally hear me and then when I'm on it. Oh, hell, hey. Now I'm plugged into a Marshall that's turned up to like five and uh, Norm, normal mic sitting out in front of it would just be squealing and screaming like crazy. This does not because it only picks up sounds that are within like say an inch right around here. <laughs> also on this mic has got a, a switch on the back where it can be turned off and muted. Ha <laughs> ha, no sound at all. Or you can put it into wah. The wah position is controlled by this little wah knob. <laughs> she can get telephone, sort of telephone sounds. We're so sorry, Uncle Albert. That sort of thing and instantly switch to full voice. Huh, hey, full response. Now, the batteries inside are CR2032, just like in the original T-Ball, easily changed, 100 hour life at least. An improvement we made to it is the pop screen is removable now. It's stuck on with little magnets. There's the actual mic element. It pops right on, you can wash it out. Since you have to almost eat the mic in order to use it, you can wash it out easily in, in a, uh, under a sink. Uh, dry it off with a paper towel and pop it back on here and it's all nice and hygienic. So that is the T-Ball and as you can hear it gets quite loud <laughs> without feeding back at all when you're right in front of the amp at very high volume. So this is great for uh, singing through an amp on stage um, and not picking up any sounds on the outside or for picking up uh, a track, uh, a guide track that you want to do inside of a room where all the instruments are being recorded at the same time and you don't want the other instruments to be bleeding really badly into the guide track because you want to use the guide track for a while after you've done overdubs. You engineers will know what I mean. Anyway, uh, ZVX, thanks for watching.